Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. If you've been watching my reviews lately, then you know I've been leading up to this point where we can finally build our own build a figure Ultron. I'm not terribly excited about this. It does look like a pretty basic figure. It's accurate to the movie, but he's not very big. And as I've been building, or I guess as I've been buying the figures and looking at the actual pieces it comes with, it does feel and look kind of cheap. But in a few seconds here, we'll figure it out. That you finally build these builder figures and it has loose parts. I uh, just realized that it's been out of the frame for the most part. So that kind of sucks. So that's going to be uh, really annoying for me. It'll at least stay in there. At least it doesn't come out too easily, but you know, slightest bit of pressure or slightest bit of pull, it definitely will come out. That's unfortunate. Oh well, this one doesn't come out. Oh yes, it does. Wow, wow. Usually these arms stick in there very well. I was complaining earlier about how all the other figures, the legs come out so easily, and then I complain about that, and they're like, "We'll take this now. The arms will come out easily." Just my luck. Anyways, getting to the review of this figure, ugh, you know, I'm not too thrilled about the fact that around here, you look at the legs, and you're seeing shiny metal mixed with dull metal. So on the feet, we got like a dull gray, not very shiny, and then, look, shiny, shiny, and then we get to the body, it's like, uh, we're not shiny anymore, we're a nice, dull, ugly, gray, and then shiny again shiny face and then not shiny arms what the hell has bro this is by far the most disappointing build it figure i've had in a long time the paint apps suck as you can see i'm having trouble with the arms we get a little bit of red there but i don't know if they were trying to do shading i don't know what what they were trying to do with this silver and not silver. I mean, we get the front silver of the legs and the back is just that dull gray. I would have preferred an all silver figure. I'm not really sure what the hell is going on here. This is a really disappointing figure. Um, I guess it does have some nice detail through the base of the body. Sorry, take a look at the head. That is a very nice face sculpt. I will give Hasbro that. Definitely very accurate to the movie in that regards. But the paint apps suck. My gosh, the mold isn't horrible. On the back here, the mold looks just a little bit cheap. And I think that's partially due to the fact that it's that cheap looking gray plastic. I just don't know what they were thinking. Uh, maybe some people will appreciate the silver with that, but I don't know who those people are. They have weird taste. Sorry. Sorry, hashtag sorry, not sorry. Get into articulation, I guess, and stop complaining about the paint. His head will go back that far. It'll go up, down that far. His arms will go up that high. We'll do a 360 here. Got to be gentle with it because, you know, those will fall out. Upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel with the wrist hinge. And while we're at the hands here. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you how weird these look as well. He's got weird webbed fingers. Uh, yeah. About that. I am not too thrilled with the way that came out. He has, they look webbed. Say I'm wrong. That, that looks weird. That does not look right. The other hand's the same way. Anyways, getting the rest of the articulation. Let me get the, uh, Ab crunch there. He goes back really far and far, pretty forward as well. We get a waist swivel. His legs will go up only that high, that low. Got a double jointed knee. We got a hinge here, and then no ankle rocker. Wow, no ankle rocker on this figure. Oh yes, we do. Foot and mouth ankle rocker is right there. So overall, if you did not get the rest of the figures in this wave or if you only like a few of the figures and you didn't complete your Ultron build a figure you're not missing out on anything because this figure is uh, pretty piss poor I'm not too happy with it all 
Uh, it's very low quality. It's not that large. Look at size. You know, it's supposed to be build a figure. I guess I'm more of a uh, old school build a figure guy. So he's almost eight inches tall, and I like my uh, build a figures big. And he's not that big at all. Here's him next to Ant Man. I guess he is proportional, so it makes sense that he's not too big. He's definitely proportional. I'll give him. I'll give Hasbro that much. He's proportional to the other figures. I just, uh, I don't like it. So if you didn't, if you missed out on a few figures, don't feel too bad. Or if you didn't like one of the figures enough to not build the bath, then just wait on SH Figure Arts or Target is coming out with a three pack with an Ultron. Uh, it's an Ultron we've seen before. I'm trying to think of what it came out with. I think it came out with some kind of Iron Man series, probably when Iron Man 3 came out, that Ultron. I like that design personally. It's not movie accurate or anything. And that also appeals to me, non-movie accurate. I like comic accurate stuff. So I would check the three-pack coming out. That one looks pretty sweet. And of course, you can uh, check it out. Because that's that'll be like the third time they've come out with that Ultron figure. They have a gold one, an all-silver one, and they have a new one coming out. A three-pack of Target, like I've been saying. Uh, and he has some red stuff on him and some other details. So check out that one. Ah, this is a definite pass for me. You're not missing out on anything. And look how mad he looks at me for saying that. Just, uh, but you know, if you do like the figure, check out Big Bad Toy Store. At the very least, you can get all the other figures in the set. Or check out the Hulk build a figure. I, I recently reviewed that, or I'm not sure what order I'm going to be releasing these reviews. But I, I will be reviewing that. I have reviewed it. So check that out. Uh, I'm very pleased with that build a figure. Unlike this one. Uh, other than that, that's enough of me complaining. Till next time, peace out, Cub Scout.